Hi there, this is Dr. Karagüzel from the School of Architecture, Carnegie Mellon University. In this video, I would like to talk about an integrated and parametric modeling approach using Design Builder and Rhino Grasshopper simulation platforms. This is part of a larger study where we try to optimize the design of a net zero energy building incorporating rooftop solar photovoltaic systems for on-site renewable energy generation. Our main objective in these studies was to explore some innovative methods for geometric optimization of rooftop solar photovoltaic systems of our design proposal. We carefully designed these PV systems as the key renewable technologies to get to our ultimate goal of net zero energy balance. Our approach uh, to reach this objective depends on the connectivity and interoperability of the design builder with the 3D modeling program of Rhino by the use of algorithmic modeling tool, the Grasshopper. Let's have a closer look at this integrative approach on the step-by-step -step process diagram. We created the source building geometry, including the surrounding context and the geometry of the solar PVs within Design Builder's 3D interface. Next step was to export this sort geometry to Rhino using the 3D drawing exchange file format. Design Builder's own export functions help us to generate this 3D DXF file. We are calling this as a source geometric model because the PV geometry is already existing in Rhino as a source, but the key parameters are not yet optimized for maximum solar energy yield. Right at this point, we started to develop an associative geometry, in other words, parametric geometry of this 3D model within Grasshopper. As opposed to visual geometry of Rhino, which is static in nature, the parametric geometry is dynamic. This means that each and every geometric entity, including the PV surfaces, are parametrized, such that every geometric input, the length, height, rotation angles, global positions, translation and transformation vectors, are all represented by grasshopper objects using numeric variables. These numeric variables can be changed and controlled manually by the user or automatically by an optimization algorithm. In our study, we define two independent geometric variables. These are the tilt angle of the PV arrays and the distance between each row of successive PV arrays. Next step was to configure an optimization setup in Grasshopper. We got the use of a single objective genetic optimizer named Galapagos. This optimizer finds optimum tilt angle and PV array distance to maximize the total annual in-plane solar irradiance on the surface of the PV arrays themselves. That is to say that the solar radiation was our fitness value or objective function value. Open source environmental design plugins called Ladybug and Honeybee enabled the calculation of solar radiation levels. These plugins provide us a range of grasshopper components that can import hourly weather data for our location. This is in the format of EPW, uh, the well-known Energy Plus weather files. They generate a cumulative sky matrix for a selected time period, and they can also calculate the solar radiation on the building surfaces by taking into account all the solar shading effects. After a certain number of iterations, the optimizer evaluates all candidate solutions and finds the optimum PV geometry. In our case, we ended up with 26 degrees tilt angle, this is the vertical angle, and 2.4 meters of array distance. This specific combination yields maximum incident solar radiation which is the most significant factor of PV power generation. Please pay attention that uh, we achieved this PV geometry optimization under the given urban context by taking into account shading from neighboring buildings 
and the old shading from adjacent rows of PV arrays. We bake this optimized geometry right into the Rhino scene and make it static again. We also got the use of color-coded mappings of the solar radiation levels on the surfaces to provide some sort of design decision support right at this point. We exported the same optimized geometry back to the design builder by converting parametric model into GBXML file. And the dedicated Honeybee plugin object named as Grizzly Bear was used for this process. The GBXML based connectivity closed this entire interoperability loop between Design Builder and now this is our energy modeling program and Rhino Grasshopper, the parametric modeling tools. Energy Plus based PV simulations within Design Builder help us to achieve an optimized PV system with a peak power of around 216 kilowatts. Such an on-site solar energy generation makes it possible to meet the entire energy consumption needs of our building design. On top of it, with the same PV system, we even have a small amount of extra energy and this eventually renders our proposal as a net positive energy building. Alright, that's all from me today. Thanks for watching this video and see you guys next time.